Okay, this is what's in the baby's hospital bag. Um, I don't think we have anything all that special, but I do like watching other people's videos, so I figured I'd do one too. Um, so this is just our diaper bag, and right now it's all packed up. Um, and I will start disassembling it and let you know what's in there. Okay, so the outside pockets first. This is an old cloth diaper um, that was my mom's. <laughs> and uh, we're using it as a burp, burp cloth or whatever. And here's another burp cloth. This one is waterproof. Um, so those two guys. In this front pocket, we've got um, the pediatrician's card, pack of tissues, pen. Um, this is lanolin, sort of for me, I guess. Um, this uh, is one of the things that we got in our childbirth class that I think we'll try to use for the first week. It is a feeding and diaper diary. So um, there's day one, day two, and tells you sort of on average how many wet diapers and how many poopy diapers you're to expect. Um, and then you also can track here how many times you um, breastfeed. So you just circle the hours, and then it'll kind of give you an idea of the the I's and O's, um, <laughs> the ins and outs um, for the baby for that first week. Then on the back, this is kind of crazy, but um, it goes into sort of detail about you know how um, how the meconium starts out and then it sort of transitions to just normal, um, you know what's normal, what's not, whatever. It's kind of graphic, but I think it'd be really good. Um, especially for Mike, who I don't think has changed many diapers. Okay. So that goes. Um, let's see. In this little pocket, we've got um, blood sugar emergency supplies, like fruit leather. And uh, like a crystal light thing or something. I guess that's for later on, really. A couple extra diaper pins here. Um, in this pocket, we've got a couple of um, cloth diaper liners that I just made out of fleece. I don't know if I'll need them or not at this point. Snappy, and this is um, the Grandma L's diaper ash cream, um, which I also don't anticipate needing for a little bit at least. In this pocket, um, brush, nail clippers. So just a little brush bag keeps falling over. Nail clippers and I've got a file in here and a comb. I can't get out. Oh, there's, a little, there's a little file. Um, so I've been told that sometimes hospitals will not give you nail clippers because of liability. So um, to bring your own just in case baby's born with really long nails and they rip themselves up. All right let me get the other stuff out. Okay so clothing first. A lot of the small things in just this um, bag, I don't know where I got it, <laughs> um, a pair of plain white socks. These are little booties that um, my mom had for me. Um, so they're really, really tiny. I'm thinking maybe those will be the first ones we put on or something. Um, these are ones that I made with a little hat that matches too. I think they're going to be huge. Um, this is the smallest hat we have. And uh, since we have no idea how big this baby will be, um, I'm just trying to bring different sizes. Um, this little hat matches one of the sleepers, so maybe that would be good for pictures. A um, couple of scratch mittens. This is a gown, so I figured no matter what size the baby is, um, they can always wear a gown. A couple of sleepers. This is the tiniest one we have. Um, it just stripes. And then this is the one that somebody gave us at a baby shower. Um, that has a little matching hat. It's cute. Um, this is the smallest pair of pants we have. And they have feet in them, which I think is good. A couple just plain t-shirts. Um, one with the snaps so it doesn't have to go over the head. And another cute little t-shirt that our friend gave us. Um, it's a hand-me-down, but I just think it's adorable. And then a little cardigan, which is actually pretty big too. Um, but as another layer with the t-shirts, maybe if we need it. Let's see, I've got just a regular sort of flannel receiving blanket. And this is a muslin swaddle. 
Um, we do plan on swaddling and uh, hopefully the baby will like it. <laughs> but I'm just bringing one to the hospital. We are cloth diapering, um, so I am bringing diapers with us. Um, I've got two Kiss Love Zeros, two Thirsties Extra Small covers. Um, I've got three pre folds, wet bag, a um, bunch of cloth wipes, um, flannel ones, and the Grovia kind, which I feel like might be a little bit better for meconium. Um, so that said, um, I'm not going to be too concerned with cloth diapering in the first, you know, 24 to 48 hours, however long we're at the hospital. Um, yeah. Um, I think just at that point, my focus is going to be more on um, establishing breastfeeding, um, you know, bonding with the baby, communicating with um, the doctors and nurses and everything, and just sort of getting settled. So um, I'm bringing the diapers, and we plan to use them. But if we run out, if, we, if it turns into a hassle or something we just don't have time for, um, there are more important things to me. So, um, yeah, we're just trying to be realistic about that. So I'm not bringing maybe as many as I need or whatever. Um, I'm also bringing just a couple of disposables. I know the hospital will give us some, but um, these are supposedly organic. Somebody gave, it, gave them to us um, in our baby shower, so... I feel like they're a little bit better than maybe other hospital disposables, so that's it.